Welcome. Uh, my name is Mikey Watson and this is my themed character description generator which is my final practical project submission for computational creativity CO659. So the themed character description generator was envisaged as being a standalone website which users would visit to get descriptions of characters that are more thematic. Um, so they would land on this page, click the let's get started button, uh, select their character's race that they wish, input a short description, uh, maximum of 100 characters, um, the description I've chosen is my character is a gentle, boring, strong old man who loves to go swimming or running. Click submit. Uh, the processing page is shown while the user uh, waits for their sort of description. And then there we have it. Your fantasy character is a tame, irksome, bullocky orc named Yiaku who loves fluking. Um, you then give be feedback whether you found that useful or useless and go from there. Provide more details on the technical side of the system. Uh, I will look at two significant functions in particular. Uh, one is begin character generator, which is essentially the main function, and the other is the create character, which is the actual creation process that occurs if all the variables are set right. Um, so the first thing we do is put in the same description that we use in the original user description. Uh, we hit submit. So the first function that gets called is the begin character generator. Um, it sets up some variables. Uh, the first thing it does is remove words of less than three characters length in the original description so my is a to go are all removed these words aren't generally needed and just removed entirely uh, we then go through the system and uh, we send off all of the rest of the words off to the text gain API which does the tagging for us so the rest of the description is tagged via verbs adjectives nouns and the like and this allows us to then send these words off to the data muse API looking for certain synonyms um, if for whatever reason the user put in a hundred characters but didn't put in any adjectives or any verbs they will be prompted via toast to actually go back and amend those before we send them off um, so that's one nice bit of feedback for the users <coughs> if we do meet the criteria then we'll go on to the custom create character function uh, which is here and I'll talk about that a little bit more in the next section Okay, so the last function that we're going to be looking at is the create character function. Um, so essentially this takes in all the promises from the DataMuse API and waits until they're all fulfilled. Uh, once that's done, it then starts to create a character object which it sends off to the service hive script called charactergenerator.php. Um, before it does that, it also sends off the original description as provided by the user uh, to the text gain API to a slightly different URL which does sentiment analysis. Uh, this sentiment analysis sends back a polarity to sort of gauge how unhappy or happy the user is, a uh, value of uh, 1 to minus 1. Um, and this sentiment is used in discerning uh, how the verb is interacted by the character output. Do they detest the, their verb? So does the character hate doing a thing or do they love doing a thing? Um, this adds a bit more flavor to the character and can be quite comical at times. Um, so the next step is that once we've got that character object, we send it to the character generator script. That script uh, then runs and finds matches of adjectives which go together. Um, it will also search the database for any matches it creates. If that sort of description has been created before and was rejected by the user via feedback, uh, then we sort of loop around again and don't create it again essentially. Uh, this stops the system from creating the same bad outputs again and again and actually helps guide the system towards what people want. Um, then the final part is to actually create the character, send it back to the browser, in which point the uh, description of the character is displayed to the user. So the final point is the processing and then the output is shown. Um, the page is also done in a fully responsive style so it will work on both mobile and website just as a added feature but yeah so we've got the same description a similar description as before but not exactly the same <coughs> again this useless column here is what sets the uh, rejected flag with the database so we'll have display a little toast message that tells you that we've done that and then if we look inside the database uh, you'll notice that there is a flag column uh, let me just reset this the rejected flag for this character we just created has been set to 1, so these selections of adjectives and verbs will never be created again. Okay, that's the entire system. I hope you understand it now. Thank you.